This is the release video for the 0.13.2 release. And we have bug fixes and other things, but we've got one major feature, and I've been working for this for a long time. And thanks goes out to Rich for GCS to help and make this happen. Okay, so here's the deal. On anything that you can roll a skill on in Foundry, we added the on-the-fly formulas for check, during, pass, and fail. So if the check on the fly formula fails, then it won't let that skill happen or attack happen. Useful for, say, decrementing ammunition or something like that, and you're not allowed to do it when you don't have any more. During is a great place to put animations or sound. It's just what happens when that occurs, and then of course pass or fail. If the skill check passes or fails, you put that in there. Unfortunately, that information's only ever been in Foundry. And if for some reason your Foundry character dies and you have to recreate it, you have to rebuild all that stuff. And I hated that. So I added the ability to parse the notes for any item that could be checked like that for a new format of on-the-fly formulas. And we pull those out and put them in the check during pass and fail. And then I talked with Rich and he just quickly, within minutes, built this into GCS. If you look in on the intimidation skill, there is now a VTT notes column, or not column, entry field. And this notes will not be displayed in the WYSIWYG printout. It's basically just data that just so happens that we can read. Now, if you're using the, uh, if you're reading from the .gcs file, this isn't supported by the export, but for GCS, we're getting rid of the export basically. And if you look at this VTT notes, it shows D colon, and then there's an on the fly formula, and then P colon, and then there's an on the fly formula and something else. So the D colon on the fly formula will be parsed and put in the during slot. And that's basically, if you uh, run the intimidation, it'll make this growl noise. And then the P colon is what happens if it passes. And it runs the new repeat animation command and it'll animate this smoke over, over Bog as he's intimidating somebody. Well, you need to be able to stop that animation. And so there is the stop on the fly formula. Now that's just a regular on the fly formula. So what'll happen is the during and the pass on the fly formulas will be put into their slots, but the stop on the fly formula will just be put in the notes. So it's a button that the user can press. I did the same thing with the uh, balanced throwing ax. If I look at the balanced throwing ax, oh no, I didn't do it on the balanced throwing ax. Sorry, I did it on the great ax. Okay, so you can see here a note that is the uh, mighty blow. And of course, it, it shows up on the paper version, but I could add this into VTT notes. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go do that. I'm going to get rid of it from the paper version. You don't need it there. And here, it's just going to do uh, an animation and a sound. And then we're going to say, we're going to put the uh, on the fly formula for the, for the modifier. That way, it'll only show up in Foundry and not show up on your printout here. So we'll apply that. I did think I did the same thing for the shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun just has a during. It just plays a small animation and a sound, and that's it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's save this, and then we'll go to Foundry. And as I said, in Foundry, the new formats, uh, if you put this in the notes or the VTT notes. So GCA users can still use this also. They just have to put their on the fly formulas in the notes section uh, uh, using these formats, either the full word check during pass or fail or just the abbreviation. You know me, I love abbreviation, CDF, CDP and F. And uh, we'll parse it and put it into the appropriate slots in Foundry. So I'm gonna, so let's see, if we look at intimidation, yeah, he's got nothing. So I will read the GCS file and we'll import it. And now Intimidation has the stop button. And actually, let's see, I'll go over here and uh, we'll have Bog, and we'll set the target and we'll have Bog try to roll his Intimidation. So there's the growl sound. Oh, and, and it worked. 
So it's now doing the repeat animation. Now this animation is just going to keep going uh, until Bog decides to go do something else. And of course it'll chase after him a little bit. So you need to turn it off and that's where the stop button comes in. So we'll press a stop and then that animation goes away. So uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's do the pump shotgun attack. Yeah, there you go. Little animation, an explosion, and then the two-handed great axe attack. There you go. So all of that is now saved in GCS. So if you delete your world, you can re-import it and it will uh, parse back in in the appropriate slots in Foundry. And I have been waiting for months to get this implemented and it's finally here. We updated the uh, show command, so it now shows uh, fatigue points and hit points. Also here, I'll show fatigue points, hit points, and decks for everybody in the uh, in the tavern. And if you say show A, then it will do it alphabetically instead of by largest number. The next thing I made mention of it in the previews, I was so excited by it. Um, we now have a you know a lazy man's repeat command for animation. So here's an animation that will play a little uh, healing thing around Bog. Uh, and now what you can do is you can repeat it. So I'm first I'm gonna make this animation silent so it stops reporting into the chat log. But now I'm gonna repeat it. So it'll be repeat and I need to tell it basically how long the animation is. I'm gonna say that it's uh, maybe it's like three seconds long. So every three seconds, it will replay the animation. That's eh, not too bad. Actually, I, I, so now I need to make it stop. It's gonna keep doing this until I tell it to stop. And wherever Bog goes, it's gonna follow him around. So uh, I, need to, I need to say stop, so we'll tell it to stop. And you, e each character has their own animation going. Uh, let's see, so I'll make it, I'll let it overlap a little bit. So I'll say uh, it's uh, about two and a half seconds. So I can either do that as 2.5, which is two and a half seconds, or I can say 2,500, which is milliseconds. So every 2,500 milliseconds, it'll repeat. Yeah, you can see there, it's just stuttering just, uh, just a little bit. So let me stop that and try that again. It's a 2,200. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of a nice right on the uh, thing there. There we go, perfect. So you notice the repeat doesn't actually write anything to the log. It's repeating the animation command. So if I, trying to figure out what's going on, if I uh, repeat and I get rid of the bang in front of the animation command, you'll see all of the uh, animation chat commands occurring as the repeat is going on. We've added a feature to uh, disable the reeling and tired messages that occur in chat. It's now called display reeling tired status in chat. You have to turn that on and then you'll see that stuff. But a lot of people were saying, hey, we got enough of that information, so I think it defaults to off. Either way, it is now a system setting. And finally, one of the other things I previewed is our uh, integration with uh, Trigger Happy. If you're a Trigger Happy user, um, we now support the at teleport, which you can teleport to a drawing or an actor, and the at OTF command. And so I created uh, two commands that basically allow you to port back and forth between these portals, which are hidden in the fireplaces. And it will portal back and forth, but when it does so, it's also then gonna roll 1D minus three burning, just throw that damage in the chat, and then it'll wait a half a second and then do some animation of flames because, you know, you're in a fireplace. So he's gonna come over here to the fireplace, and yeah, I've added sound, he's gonna jump in the portal, and it takes him over to the other side, throws a little bit of damage and starts a little flame going. So I, I can apply the damage, you know, by dragging it on normally, but I thought I'd show you that. It's, it's a cute thing, nothing fancy, but again, I'm trying to really impress my nephews here. And of course, you know, we have bug fixes and updates. Thanks for all to our update to the Brazilian Portuguese language file. And uh, Neck, of course, for all of his work that he's done, uh, being able to read the GCS file directly is just amazing. So um, that's it for the moment. Uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. And uh, as you can see, I've got a new background now. I'm actually trying to build my first adventure. So we'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. 
Uh, and as always, thank you for watching.